Hey, hello there, good evening and welcome to, I'm going to say this, my favourite show that we do here on Adworld. It's the Planet Cruise TV show. You um, told me you love selling duvets. <laughs> and no, this and cheeky chap that's just, just chipped in. This is our you wonderful You said you love selling them hoovers. I do, but I love, listen, I love selling odd products on Adworld, <laughs> but your show's really special. We've just worked out, been running 14 years now, 14 right? years, 14 yeah. years, yeah. We were young spring chickens. We were. Yeah. Well, we still are in still our heads. Still are in our heads. But um, Glenn works for Planet Cruise, and um, if you've never been on a cruise holiday, we're here to, uh, to tell you all about them, to educate, show some great videos of different ships, and we have got some amazing offers. I actually took my first cruise holiday uh, 14 years ago when the show first began, yeah. and I've never looked back. They, no. they, cruises are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And, and what's so good about it? We're coming back now. Obviously, you know, yes. lockdown wasn't wasn't so good for the industry. <laughs> no, um, no. But I think everyone's starting to travel now. I mean, obviously, the the world is a never changing place, as we know. But I think people have gone. Do you know what? We're fed up being stuck at home. We did the British Isles cruise last year, which were really, really popular yeah, down around the UK, those, yeah. which was really good. And I think people just want to get on board now and start travelling the world again. Yeah. And you know, we had January, which is obviously our busiest time. I mean, every advert now is for cruise holidays and holidays, you know, wherever you go. Um, February's got even busier. As I said, I was on the phone yesterday. It just constantly going all day. So we all, need, we all want to get away. And if you've never been on a cruise, honestly, they are amazing. Uh, the food, the entertainment, the cruise ships are beautiful. They are like floating resorts. I've just been chatting to one of your colleagues out there, and he's never cruised before, and he's talking about going on with his wife. And I said, well, look, we'll have a chat about it. We'll look at the different cruises. There's a cruise ship for everybody. There Bigger is. ones, smaller ones, price range, where you want to go. Um, and as I said, the team are there till 10 o'clock tonight. We're here tomorrow morning at 9. We've, many of us have worked on the ships or been on the ships, and we'll advise you where to go. And uh, all you need to do is give us a call tonight. Uh, the different phone number there, you can see it's 0808 uh, And we've actually got, we've got four main deals tonight and we've got a couple of hot picks. As yeah, well, and I'll we? give you a little bit of information about what's going on in the industry as well. Because right. when we touch on a few of the uh, products we're looking at today. Well, we are going to start with um, actually a company who I cruise with, first of all. So they got me into cruising and it is, of course, Royal Caribbean now. Look at that price. I know my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, but that does say four nine nine. Yeah, doesn't it? That's for a week. For a week. Yeah. yeah. And that's all your food as well. That's everything. All the entertainment. Anthem of the Seas. Anthem of the Seas. I was fortunate enough. I mean, if we have a look at the ship itself, I mean, Anthem of the Seas. I went on it in 2015 when it launched. We filmed on there for I the show. I remember, yeah, I remember. Um, and I'd been on ships for ten years, and I'd seen a lot of stuff on there. But I think when you look at Anthem, oh. it's a different level. Well, let's ha have a little peek right now. Um, yeah, we're going to up the tempo here, aren't we? Uh, as I said, I, I, I've been on ships before and I've seen a lot of the same bars and restaurants. You go on Anthem of the Seas, it's completely different. As I said, you've got the Dodgems, which is something different. You've got roller skating, you've got Wonderland restaurant, robotic bartenders. Now, the show on there is, is We Will Rock You. That's a two hour full West End production of now We you, Will Rock You. And you could pay £100 a ticket for that. Well, we're charging you? £500 for a week. So you wow. get that included. Again, as I said, you've got everything on there. You've got 270 at the back, which is their moving LED show at the back of the ship. Um, and as I said, being 10 years on ships, it took a lot to amaze me. But I went on there and I went, wow, this is something a bit special. We've booked to go on. I'm taking the wife on there in May for a few days and taking a group of us on there. Um, and we're paying nearly that for two days. So to get seven days on there is amazing. And I think if you've never tried Royal Caribbean before, uh, maybe you've been with other cruise lines and you want to try this, look at the price. For a £1,000 for two of you, you can get on there and, and try it. And we should say that lead date, you know, that is for the 17th of June. We're not talking out of season. No, which no. is really nice. And I mean, we, we did so much stuff on there. As I said, when I went to see the show Wheel Rock here, I'm used to a 45 minute show. And about an hour and three quarters into it, I thought this is going on a bit long. This is a two hour full production. Wow. This is not just the highlights. Um, you've got everything on there. You've got North Star. You've got the Flow Rider, which is synonymous with, of course, Royal Caribbean. You've got the skydiving simulator that you can try. Um, the ships as well with Royal Caribbean are not just a ship, they're a destination. And whether you go inside, the insides, again, are very, very special because they're the virtual balconies. So they've got the big screen on the window, on the wall, that will actually project what's being shown outside. So you can still have the inside. You could try, um, that's what you normally say in the roll loft, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is, as it happens. Yeah. Yes, in, my, in my dreams. <laughs> um, but do you know, in, in truth, I've actually um, had all types of cabins, yep. uh, from inside to balcony. I've had the odd little mini suite and things like that. 
But I've always had a great time on so a cruise. To be quite honest, on the ship, you're, you're, there's so much going on, and then, of course, you've got the ports of call as well, that sometimes you don't even spend that much time in the cabin. Right. Um, but again, the restaurants are great. I love Wonderland. Wonderland's a brilliant restaurant. It's like the Alice in Wonderland theme restaurant. Um, of course, you've got Ishumi, you've got Chops Grill, which we've booked. As I said, we're going on in May. I've booked Chops Grill. I like the steaks on there, so we've booked that for a. I tell you what, in, in general, the, the food, the service on all cruise ships is absolutely outstanding. It's a different league. So. You're not just going on that beautiful ship, you're going to get to see some wonderful uh, ports and destinations as well. Now, this one, um, it cruises out of Southampton, and that is really easy. Yeah, well, so it? again, we can do the car parking for you. You can maybe want to do a one-night pre-stay if you're coming down from up north, and it's a long drive down. We can do the stay the night before if you want to with the parking. But again, what's so nice is you don't have to worry about the luggage. You can take what you want as so long as you can store it in your room. And it's just nice getting on in Southampton and then sailing. Now, what's nice about this one is you're going to have a day at sea before we head down to La Rochelle. So again, as I said, there are so many facilities on board. You need a week just on board the ship, but nice to have that one sea day on there. Um, and then we head down to France. The sailing here is lovely along the D-Day beaches that they have there, which is really spectacular. But La Rochelle, you can go off, you can just wander around the back streets, Gothic style cathedrals. That's the beaches that you'll see as you're sailing in and sailing out. And as I said, with a glass of wine on the way out, it's a lovely way to spend the day. And as I said, 17th of June, weather should be quite nice at that time should of perfect, year. Actually, yeah, it should be yeah. good. We then head down to Bilbao. Uh, which is going down into Spain. Again, the weather's going to get warmer and warmer as we head down there. Uh, and again, a number of things to do there. Guggenheim Museum is quite popular to go and see. Again, I've been in Bilbao a number of times. I just wandered around, got lost, go for some tapas during the day. Um, again, just do a bit of people watching. But again, beautiful old style buildings that they have there in the northern part of Spain. And as I said, I think people just be glad to be away, oh, yeah. be back in Spain, be back in France, and then coming back to a wonderful ship in the afternoon. We then go down to La Coruna. La Coruna, again, is the home of the gentleman that in, uh, founded Zara and Pull and Bear, so the shops are good there. But again, you can wander around the, the main harbour, the port area. If not, maybe do a trip up to Santiago de Compostela, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, or down onto the beach, because as I said, the weather should be good at that time of year. Then a chill-out day at sea, just to relax, soak up the atmosphere, maybe have a, a night out the night before so you don't have to wake up too early, maybe try one of the speciality restaurants, get on that North Star, maybe go to Chops Grill in the evening and just chill out on the ship for that day. And then finally from there, back into La Havre. Now, La Havre's got a gateway and a, a plethora, that's the word I was trying to get into plethora. today. Plethora. Plethora of trips to do. So you can go to Paris, that's a couple of hours trip and they take you down there. Um, we're actually going into La Havre when we're on there and we're going to go into Honfleur. We love Honfleur. It's, very, about, very pretty, isn't it's it? about 50, do, uh, 50 euros in a cab and there's four of us going to go down to there. We love Honfleur. You can go down to the D-Day beaches. You can go down to the Bayo Tapestry. There's loads of trips to do there. Or just wander off into La Havre for the day and then finally back into Southampton. I mean, isn't it amazing you get to see all those places, all those different experiences, and yet your price is under £500. Now, we've actually got, obviously, different staterooms available. Glenn was telling me before the show, everything is selling really quickly on this one. Uh, can I just say, the, the inside cabins at the moment, uh, we had a notification just before, there's hardly anything yes. left on the on the, the leading price. I mean, if not, you'll have to go to an ocean view or balcony, but you need to get booking on yeah. that today. You need to do it, do it tonight, if you possibly can. Let's see uh, everything that is included. Now, um, Glenn Sold. and I like Sold. a drink. We, we <laughs> like a drink. Uh, and you can go all-inclusive for only £40 can per I, person Can I just say with the drinks package, again, people look at it and it depends on what you drink or, you know, on board the ships. Again, um, it's an American cruise ship, so they have the tipping culture on there as well. So normally the drinks package is £55 a day, but up to, I think, the 28th of Feb, they're doing it for... A, it's 275 for the week, so it's about £39.50 for the week, and but that will finish on the 28th of Feb, so if you want to do that, you can add on that drinks package for 275. Um, you have got um, some upgrades as well, so you've got free outside to Balcony on the 17th of June, and also the 15th of July and 4th of September dates. Uh, you've got reduced deposits tonight as well, and uh, if you've got any future cruise credit, you can actually redeem that as well. So, an amazing start to the show. We're going to sh just show you some of the prices for the different cabins that are available. So you can see there, on certain dates, uh, so the 17th of June, you can get a balcony for the same price yep. as the outside there. So same with the 15th of July, actually. Really, yeah, really good really prices. Good. Family of four prices, but again, those family of four, there is minimal left on those as well, because again, the uh, availability on the ship. So you need to get booking that today or first thing tomorrow I'm morning. But I think if you've never tried Royal before and you think, do you know what, we really want to try it, for two of you for a thousand pounds, get on it and try it. Yeah, it's 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 really it really is amazing.
Um, and actually, if you feel, if you're thinking, I've not been away for ages, you might even want to book a suite there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but um, that's our, our first cruise. But we're now going to move on to NCL. I've also cruised with NCL. I think I've done three cruises with Have them. Have you? Yeah. yeah um, they're really, really good. I mean, they're doing a lot of publicity on the TV at the moment. So they're yeah, lots all of over the TV. What I like about NCL, they're freestyle cruising. That's their whole... Um, mantra that they have on there. For people that don't want to wear the tuxedos every night, smart casual every evening, freedom dining throughout the ship. And again, they've got this £99 free at sea at the moment. And that gives you your premium drinks package, which is up to the value of $15 per drink. As many as you want. As many as you want, yes. Yep. yes. Uh, <laughs> you get Wi-Fi included. You get $50 per cabin shore excursion credit that can be put towards the tours and also you get your speciality dining three meals in the speciality restaurant wow. so and they're the really nice restaurants yeah so i mean even 99 i mean everyone does it i mean the drinks package if you want to book it alone per day is 108 dollars per day for 99 pounds you can have it for the week with the other three amenities sure. so everyone takes it i was it. going to say you'd be really silly, silly not to, to wouldn't you yeah. really would uh, so just looking at that lead date there 12th of august as well lovely time to get away but this is a nine night Italy, France and Spain cruise from Barcelona. But I think people have this, this old fashioned view that, um, you know, cruising is all about set times and dressing up and yep. sharing tables with people at dinner. Not at all. Not at all. They're, they're quite big NCL on their speciality dining restaurants. They've got lots on board. The entertainment is very modern as well. I know some of the ships are a little bit more traditional, very, very modern. The food is exceptional. And I think a lot of people that go with NCL once tend to go back with them time and time again. They really, really like it. We have a lot of guests that are repeat clients. Um, again, it is focused more maybe on families, again, especially in the summer holidays. But I think if you want that, that chance not to just put your tuxedo, have your meal all night and then go to bed, you want to do more stuff on board the ships. The Epic has been popular for years. It's been um, going out of Barcelona for, for years and years, ever since I've worked as a travel agent. Really, really great ship, loads of facilities on board, great spas, really good shops. The shows are amazing. Yeah. They're, again, yes, very, yeah. very modern, very up to date. Um, very immersive shows that they have there as well. Um, and incredible and, costumes, remember? Yeah, well. and I think, again, you know, some people haven't tried M NCL. I would definitely give it a go. I've been on Epic a couple of times, really, really enjoy the ship. And as I said, it's exactly what their thing is. Feel free. It's a very, very easy going ship. And do you know, um, you only live once, don't you? I think yeah. the lockdowns in the last couple of years, they've taught us an awful lot. You know, if you've never been on a cruise, why? Well, you've got to try them, yeah. seriously. Um, I tried my first cruise. I've now done about 34, I think. But anyway, let's... <laughs> let's... You're more than me. I was, at ships. I was on ships for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is, I've never been on the Epic. I've been on some of the other ships, but not the Epic. Actually. Yeah, really, really good ship. But we had a lot of our staff go on there a couple of years ago before lockdown. They loved it. And as I said, whether it's couples, whether it's families, it suits everybody. You've got the water park on there. Cagney Steakhouse is one of my favourites. Again, if you love your steaks, as I said, remember you've got that three meal speciality package included on there. You've got Shanghai's Noodle Bar, which is really, really popular as well. And that's got all the, the food being jumped up and down in, in there as well. You've got the uh, vodka ice bar, which again, you can put your jackets on and go inside that, which is slightly different. Oh. But as I said, with that drinks package, you need to add that on because as I said, you know, for 99 pound, it's great value. As I mentioned before, the shows are brilliant. They've also got pop-up shows throughout the ship, but the, um, the staging area there is wonderful. Of course, like many of the other ships, you've got the spa facilities, you've got great shops. But as I said, it's just a resort under itself. Um, and I think if you haven't tried it before, you really have a good opportunity to do that. Again, the rooms, we've got insides all the way up to Haven Suites, depending on what you want to go for. The balconies are really, really popular. Those suites are lovely. Imagine oh. sailing there with that balcony cabin looking out from your bed. Um, Imagine again, waking up. Yeah, yeah but it's a nice itinerary. Again, it's some of the big uh, Mediterranean ports of call that we have. And as I said, a nice opportunity to go on the Epic. Well, Something let's... Like. Let's show you the itinerary. So we fly to uh, Barcelona. To yeah, start with, so this we? one here is one of our handcrafted tours that we're doing. So this one here is going to be a flight into Barcelona and then we've got two nights in Barcelona. And again, if you've never been to Barcelona before, it's a great city to go and explore. You've got Sagrada Familia there, which is the unfinished Gaudi Cathedral. Um, again, the triumphant arch. You've got the uh, uh, Columbus uh, statue that you have there just at the start of Las Ramblas. Las Ramblas is the main street area with the market off the uh, main Ras Las Ramblas strip. Park Guil, again, Gaudi, the architect, has got a lot of his architecture around there. And you'll notice on that on a lot of the buildings around in Barcelona. If you ever want to find the crew, 
Top of Las Ramblas to the right is the very traditional Hard Rock Cafe. So you'll see all the crew in there. But again, you've got loads of bars and restaurants and you've got two days to go and explore there. Of course, also a chance to go to New Camp if you want to go over there. And they've got some good beaches just through Barcelona yes, as you carry true. on. They've got some good beaches there. So One of my two days, cities. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. a great city, but two days and, included on And it on will this be one. at least a four-star hotel, yeah? At least a four-star hotel and, of course, transfers included on that. Brilliant. Taking you from the airport to the hotel, hotel to the ship, and then back to the airport at the end. Now, then we go on to Corsica. Corsica, the birthplace of Napoleon. And what's nice about Ajaxia when we used to go there is, again, the ship just docks around the other side of that bay there, so you can wander off in Ajaxia, do a left, and then you're in the centre of the town. Again, you can wander off all the way along the Corniche up to where the casino is. You've got the beach area there, you've got the old town and harbour. And again, it's quite a nice chilled out port of call, first port of call of the cruise. Um, and so that's the Corniche to walk along. Uh, I used to go running along there. It's a lovely, lovely run along there. And uh, as I said, you, nice You might place. just do a gentle um, amble nowadays. I'd go for a, right? Well, I'd go for a wander. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, from there, we go into one of the big ports of call of the Med, of course, into a place called Civitavecchia. Civitavecchia is where the ships dock. You can't dock by the Colosseum. You dock in Civitavecchia. It's about an hour and a half to get into Rome. And again, of course, from there, you've got one of the great cities of the oh, world. You've yeah. got the Roman Forum. You've got the Colosseum. You've got the uh, Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. Again, you can take the train in if you wanted to, of course, the tours there as well. Rome and your own is a good one where they drop you and then they give you six hours to go and explore. I tell you what, the Colosseum, I, I, you know, I've seen many images, but my word. When, when you I... get there. Oh, all I would say with Rome, just a quick tip there, is that whatever you want to go and see, go and see that first, because obviously I, it's busy in Rome. So if you want to see the Colosseum, do that first, get that out of the way, and then go and see the rest. Don't leave it to the end because you don't want to miss out. But a Colosseum, uh, sorry, Rome, one of the great cities of Europe. We then head into Naples. Now, Naples itself, I always find, is very busy. Of course, home of the pizza. Um, but I think Naples and Naples Bay have got the best tour programme anywhere in Europe. And it, it's a problem is you're only there one day. You can go to Pompeii. You can go to Herculaneum. You can go over to Capri, which is beautiful. You can go over to Ischia. You can go along Sorrento, along the coastline. There's so much to do in Naples. I'd get out of Naples because it is really, really busy. Um, but a trip over to Capri is well worth it. Then on to Livorno. Livorno is the gateway to get into Florence and Pisa. Um, and again, to get to both is about an hour to Florence, 45 minutes to Pisa. The most popular tour is doing Pisa in the morning and then in the afternoon you go to Florence. You've got the Duomo, you've got the Ponte Vecchia. Of course, you can do the silly picture pushing back up the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Well, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. Yeah. But again, I would say if you want to do both, do one of the tours and Florence and Pisa on your own is the one that I would recommend. I, I did... Uh, Pisa and Livorno, actually. Yeah, that yeah, was nice one. Yeah, but Florence is lovely, and again, they do do full day uh, trips. Luke, so Luca, 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 Luca's Luca. lovely yeah, again Luca. over there, and of course you've got the vineyards as well if you want to try there. We then head down into where the, of course, the film festival is in oh, Cannes. Yes. We're along the Côte d'Azur there, so this is, of course, home of the film festival. You go right past where they walk up the red carpet. This is all I would advise there: is go off. Forget about the prices of a drink or a coffee. Just sit there <laughs> yes, and do a bit of people watching. It's a millionaire row, stunning yes. people. That's where you normally find me and you. Um, <laughs> Actually, I must admit, when I was there, I felt really underdressed because you're right, so many stylish, um, beautiful well, people. I, I thought you were tonight. <laughs> With your jumper on, matching jumpers. <laughs> but again, Cairns is stunning. Lovely place to be and do a bit of people watching there. And then into Mallorca. So we dock in Parma. Uh, again, as you come out of Parma, uh, port, do a right, and that will take you down to Cathedral, 12th century Gothic style cathedral. Um, my hometown, I used to live there for a number of years. I got married there, just literally along from that cathedral. Um, but again, if you do a left, you're going to Magaluf Santa Ponza, right into Parma, one of my favourite places in the world. I'd move back there tomorrow if I could. I love Parma. And then from there, back into Barcelona for your flight home. Uh, so, some beautiful ports there. And uh, let's just show you what's included in that price. So, first of all, you do get the two nights in Barcelona. That's really nice to have that. It's a um, beautiful city and so much to do. And it will be at least a four-star hotel. All your flights and overseas transfers uh, and baggage, of course, included. Now, um, you, you've got to do this. In fact, everybody does this. If you upgrade to free at sea, it's only £99 per person you'll get all of these extra benefits. Open bar, Yay. sounds good to me. Uh, specialty dining, is it three restaurants? I think it's say? three yeah. on that week, yeah. And they're all the really, really top-end restaurants. You'll get Wi-Fi and you'll get a short excursion credit package as well. All of that for just £99 per person. 
That is amazing when you look at that nine nights and everything. Really that's good included. deal, great ship. I say it's been doing the itinerary for years. It knows what it's doing. Get yourself on the Epic. It's a really, really good ship. And uh, price-wise, now, what is so lovely uh, about NCL? They actually have got really good mini suites and great single prices as well. So obviously you've got the inside, you've got the balcony, but a lot of ships do have quite limited accommodation for singles and then still really quite good, aren't they? Yeah, they've got the single cabins on there as well, the studio cabins on there, which are really good. And they're normally on a certain deck. So again, single travellers can all meet together. They can put their name up on a board if they want to go for dinner yeah, together. Yeah. So it's really, really good. Uh, and uh, obviously you've got the mini suites and you've got the Haven suites there as well. Lots of lovely dates from June all the way through to August as well. Oh, do you know, it's just so, and I really mean this hand on heart, it's so nice to be back with Planet Cruise. And promise if you're new to the show, we're every month at the moment, hopefully we're going to go back to weekly, but always check our schedule and find out when the next show is going to be on. And do give us a call tonight. Even if you don't see a cruise that you love tonight, and I hope you do, give Planet Cruise a call because they will find the cruise that is right for you. But it's time for this week's Hot Pick. Now, uh, I recently cruised with Princess. I did one of their UK yes. cruises last year, and they were amazing. Feedback we're getting from Princess oh. at the moment has been absolutely brilliant. Um, guests coming off the staycation cruise, loving it. So they're obviously doing something right. Um, but this one is taking you a bit further afield. This is Eastern and Western Med from Rome with stays. Uh, 16 nights in total. Look at that price. 1149 well, is brilliant on there for you. I thought I was seeing, incorrectly, 60 nights. Really, that really price. good. So you've got the two wow. nights stay in Rome on that one. You've got flights, transfers and baggage included. The itinerary on this one is going over to Naples, Crete, Kusadasi, some of the best ports in Europe, Mykonos, Athens, Santorini, Kortor, Messina in Sicily, um, and then back into Barcelona. It's a great itinerary on there for you. What I love about that, a bit of Eastern Med, a bit of Western Med, some of the big um, ports of call. Anything with Mykonos and Santorini is a winner. Glenn, I've just um, I've just been on my calculator, OK? Oh, I have. So well, you upgraded your iPad, have you? <laughs> no, do you know what? I have. And do you know what? I've just worked out on oh, my calculator. Um, that works out just under £72 a night. Yeah. Now, if you try and get the cheapest hotel right now in the UK... You won't get anywhere you near that. You won't get anywhere near that. Honestly, no. it's just under £72 a night. And it's a, a really, night. really nice itinerary. Yeah. 5th of May, weather's going to be nice. Won't be boiling hot, but it'll be nice and warm. Again, start the season, so a place like Santorini and Mykonos won't be busy. Um, it's a lovely time of year to go. I am gobsmacked with that. And that, bear in mind, £72 a night, and that includes your flights, your transfers, and all your baggage as well. But that is a, it's a handcrafted holiday from Planet Cruise. That is amazing. If I could get time off on the 5th of May, I would jump at that one. And the Regal Princess is beautiful. Lovely ship. Yeah, really beautiful nice. ship. Yep. Um, I might be able to get time off on the 5th of May. <laughs> I'm making well, those, those 42 weeks a year you have off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been here 38 years. You that's that's, that's time, not you? true. That's not true. <laughs> anyway, I, I am rather excited uh, about the Valiant Lady because Virgin have only recently entered the cruise world, haven't they? They have, yeah. Uh, RB's decided to come into the, uh, the cruise market. He's building four ships in total. Um, we had Scarlet Lady last year and Valiant Lady this year. Valiant Lady. Are they all ladies then? They're all, well, they're all ladies. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even going to go down the route, I was going to say. No, no, I'm no, moving no. on. Good to be careful about so that. What's careful. nice about it is Valiant Lady's launching from Portsmouth, obviously from where we're based. So we're going to see her in March um, and she's going to be sailing out, doing a few sailings from there. Again, we had Scarlet Lady in Portsmouth last year. Beautiful ship, very different, very yes. eye-catching, grey and red. So I'm glad he's done things different um, because if he'd have gone in the same as everybody else, then... It's just another ship in the market, but he's done different things. So no set dining on there, no main restaurant. You've got 20 different restaurants that you can dine around. And they're all included, obviously. Yeah, exactly. You've right. got the um, tattoo parlour, so you can go and get your tattoo parlour. You could buy very... And the good thing is, unlike some holidays that you've been on, maybe got a really bad tattoo, they'd be good when they're yeah. really good. And I think he's, <laughs> he's trying to go for a different market. But I mean, the, the range of people that we're having booking it range from sort of teenagers all the way up to older clientele. They're all loving it. It's a very, very different product. And as I say, Virgin's in the market now. Am I too old to go? Oh, you are. You are. You are you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's have a look anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'd really... I'm no, sure I'd love do it. Do you know what? They, they, as I said, we've had, we've had a lot of clients did the staycation cruises in the summer and they came off and they loved it. it as I said, it is a different product. A lot of adverts going on there at the moment. No kids, so no, no. families on board. It is geared for uh, people that want to eat and drink out. 
have a good time. Um, great spa on there, as I said, sailing from Portsmouth and Barcelona. Um, and as I said, we get to see her um, as she launches in March. But it's a really, really nice to have a new product in the market. They are doing different things on board. And again, they're shows, so they do main shows and they do almost like bands on board, festivals. The rooms are all named different, so they're called like sea terraces or a rock star suite. Um, and as I said, even the shops and things they're selling in the shops, which you may have heard about, are a little bit different as well. So why not try it? It's a new product at sea. I, I, I would love to try. I really would. And, and I love the fact that you can go to any of the restaurants at any time. And it, of course, it was featured on The Apprentice on the first episode of The Apprentice. It was. So you can watch yes. that. Lucky enough, none of that lot will be on there. And no. they won't be naming the new ship. But, uh, but as I said, it's, uh, it's a nice new product to have. And as I said, so many different restaurants. They're really focusing on getting people back together, dining, the new experiences they have, and they're all included. The other things they are doing on there, you can add 100 pounds on, so you pay $300 up front on your bar tab, and they'll give you another $100 on there as well. Oh, and there's your tattoos as well. Yeah, there's your tattoos, and then up to also $400 um, on board spend, depending on the cabins that you go for. But as I said, it is more of a beach club vibe, um, completely different product to what's out there at the moment. Um, and as I said, it's just lovely having a new product in the market. Re and I, you know, if, you, if you're like me and you've already done a lot of cruises, we want to try something really different. That is the one to go for tonight. Uh, and I've got to say, I think the price seems really low because when Virgin first launched, I thought the prices seemed a little bit, you know... Well, they're a new they, product yeah, and yeah. obviously they're getting themselves to the market. But if you look at these prices on it at the moment, they're really, really, good, really they? good for a new, new ship. So let's uh, give you a little taster of where you're going to be cruising to. So again, we're, we're flying over to Barcelona. So this one's going to be going over to Barcelona and we've just got the one night pre-stay there, uh, which is always nice still to have that one night pre-stay. And then from there, we're going to go from Barcelona down again to the south of France, down to Marseille. Uh, been to Marseille a number of times myself, lovely port area. Again, you can go further down into the Côte d'Azur. You can take the train down um, if you wanted to. But what's nice about this one is Marseille, you go into the port area there, just wander around. You've got the main marina and harbour area. And again, you can just sit around, have a few drinks and take in the beauty of France. We then go into where the rich and famous really are oh, yes. uh, found. And this is in Monte Carlo. It's a great now, what's place, nice about this one is they're going to have an overnight on board. OK, so what's really good is that you can go into Monte Carlo during the day, wander around. People go, where's the racetrack? You're standing on it. Yeah. That is the track that goes through. I've been in the casino a number of times myself. There are some dress codes. You need to take your passport. But again, you can go and lose a fortune in the uh, in the casino. But just go around Monte Carlo. It is a principality. It's very different from other places, but you've got an overnight in there. I just remember all the cars as well. Oh, oh. The, the beautiful people, the beautiful yeah. people there driving around in the Ferraris. Again, you're on holiday, just get the credit card, put it on there. But as I said, <laughs> I've, I've sat outside Cafe de Paris with a glass of champagne, 30, 40 quid a glass, but you go, do you know what? You're only going to do it once. You're in Monte Carlo where the rich and famous are. We then head down then to Sardinia, uh, down to the island there. Um, and again, a beautiful part of the world if you've never been there. Again, this is a place you go and take one of the tours. You can go to Porta Servo if you want to. You can just wander around the town uh, that you're in there. But they've got some beautiful beaches as well. And again, it's a nice time of year to go throughout the summer. May, June, August and September will be a good time of year to go. But as I said, a nice opportunity to spend the day in Sardinia. And then we go over to the party capital, my home for four years. I was based here in Ibiza. I could tell a I bet you could tell some about stories. Ibiza. It's not nine o'clock But they're yet, back, though. they're back. Uh, Ibiza's obviously been more or less closed for the last two years, party capital of Europe. And again, with another one, you're going to be docking in Ibiza town. Ibiza town's wonderful, mixed, cosmopolitan, a lot of Europeans there. Obviously, the Brits are normally based over in San Antonio. Ibiza town will be the mixed Europeans, which is lovely. So another thing with this one, you're going to be an overnight in Ibiza. So if you've never seen what all the fuss is about, you can try Ibiza and obviously use the ship as the hotel. And then from there, back into Barcelona for your flight back. But what a beautiful ship. And uh, you have got uh, free regional flights, don't forget, on this one as well. Let me just remind you what's included on tonight's deal. So yes, free regional flights from the UK, plus all your transfers as well. Uh, you will get that extra one night Barcelona hotel stay up to $400 on board credit per stateroom and uh, you'll get a $100 bar tab bonus when you prepay $300 bar tab. I'd definitely do that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Um, <laughs> That'll get us through the first couple of days. <laughs> we should say as well, I know, you know, obviously a lot of people go online and price check and things, but don't be fooled if you sometimes think you're finding a deal that looks better or cheaper. Quite often, companies will miss out things like transfers, yeah. won't they? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, or your plane hasn't got an engine. <laughs> yeah. Or you've got to pay for your flights. Bus has got uh, no wheels. <laughs> so, you know, Planet Cruise, um, you, you've been with us now for many, many years, and yeah. everything's up to an little protected, of course, is, as well. It is, yeah. Uh, but those, uh, we've already had a few sellouts on this one, just to let you know, on the 21st of May. Uh, can I just ask, what are the um, rock star suites? What are they? Very interesting, massive, beautiful, uh, stunning uh, suites to go into. Again, they do do things, even things like they've got record players in the cabins, you know, okay. with the vinyl and really? stuff like that. Really? Of things. Obviously Virgin, Virgin yeah, Records and things like that. So it's very, very different. And as I said, I think go with the product. It's really nice to have it in the market. Um, and as I said, we watched Scarlet sail out all last year. And now we've got Valiant, which is great. So don't forget, give us a call this evening. We're open until 10 o'clock tonight. And what time tomorrow, Glenn, did you say? Uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow nine morning, tomorrow the guys morning. Will be there, yeah. Uh, and all you need to do is give us a call 0808 But it is now time for our second hot pick. And this is the ultimate in luxury sea ball. Now, I've been on many cruises. Never see bond, but they are six star, aren't they? Yeah, you'd put it as 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 the top. Yeah, you know, one they are the top really, they're soft for you. They're, um, they're pretty much the best you can get, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and I say they've got everything included on there for you. Beautiful, beautiful ships. Again, people that tend to go with Seaborn go back with them time and time again. The staff on there are superb. Again, smaller ships, so a lot more intimate. But again, this one here is going on the 9th of December, so a little bit of uh, pre-Christmas sun yes. on there. Down to the Caribbean. Lovely, the Caribbean's opening up again. Bridgetown round trip, so obviously Barbados, Barbados, and this one's giving you a two category veranda suite upgrade. Wow. Only available until the 1st of March 22 on that one. Again, you receive an additional 10% early booking saving if you pay in full by the 1st of March. Um, again, 50% reduced deposits available until the 1st of March and economy flights and transfers yeah. included. So you've got so to get... A little bit special, that one. Maybe you haven't travelled for a while and you want to treat yourself, you're celebrating, or just get ready for Christmas. But that is doing the Caribbean in luxury. Well, you've got a week, basically, to book that and get those amazing extras and that incredible price as well. But um, we are going to finish tonight with an absolutely incredible offer from P&O. And... Uh, this is cruising around the Norwegian fjords and uh, fjords, and uh, gee, I've, I've actually cruised twice around the fjords, yeah. and they are stunning. Yeah, I think I think the I think people need to realise with with uh, cruising the Norwegian fjords, it's very very different from going into Barcelona or Marseille. So the ports of call you go to on a fjords cruise, a lot of them are small hamlets, olden. Has got four buildings. That's yeah. it. And a bloke no, called. has got five. A bloke called Sven, who's probably served you a fifteen-pound beer. There's not a lot going on in the towns, okay. Whereas you go to Barcelona or Rome, you're going there to see the sights. The main thing with fjords cruising is cruising in and yes. out the fjords, and then getting out to some of the excursions. Now, two of the ports of call here. We've got two of the best excursions that we do. Um, the ship is wonderful. Again, fjords is what. Um, you know, cruising is synonymous for it's the best way to see Norway. And I think, I mean, that when, whenever you go from April all the way through to the end of October, different different uh, weather conditions make it beautiful, but it's a wonderful part of the world to go and see. Uh, and a beautiful ship, actually, Britannia. We did some filming on Britannia a few years ago, actually, and she yeah. is spectacular. Now, look at the price. We're talking about 575. That is literally it for seven nights. I mean, imagine dining. Yeah. And Imagine as I said, the ship, the, the ship, as I said, is their second newest one. Obviously, Iona's come out and we've got Arvia coming we out have. on the, yeah. uh, in January 2023. Um, Britannia is very, very popular, normally based over in the, the Caribbean for a lot of the winter time and then back here for the summer. Um, again, loads of stuff. They've got the traditional crow's nest. p is still quite traditional on there. But again, you've got um, lovely restaurants on there. You've got Epicurean. You've got Sindhu as well. Um, loads of bars and restaurants to keep you going. That Limelight Club is really, really popular as well. It does get quite lively in the evening. And what kind um, of a vibe is that, though? Again, it's it's mixed. As I said, you, you've got the families going on in the summer, you know, in the holiday time. You've got couples as well, sort of slightly older clientele. Lots of stuff going on there as well. But as I said, a really nice itinerary to see the, um, the fields. I, I, I'm very, very tempted with this one. Uh, let's show you the itinerary, because actually you were right, Glenn, you get to the very best. Of the yeah, so cruise it, the best way to see Norway is on the cruise ships, 100%. Um, so first of all, we're going into Stavanger, one of the bigger cities. And again, from here, you may go and do the pulpit rock. Um, you've got the Hanseatic buildings of Stavanger. You might just go and wander off, get your, uh, get your um, scenery sorted, because as I said, that's where you're sailing in through the fields. That's what I'm saying. The actual highlights of this is sailing through the fields. 
Then we move on to Alden. Now, Alden's one that I definitely recommend that you go off and do a tour. You've got the Lovelet Lake, which is a beautiful lake. They do the, the, the boat trip on there for you. This is sailing into Alden, so can you see what I mean? It's beautiful scenery, but I wouldn't re recommend a trip here to the Brixdale Glacier. The Brixdale Glacier, you can't get to see um, from the ship, so you need to do the tour there. And you can take one of the troll cars, which is like one of the golf carts that takes you all the way down to the Brixdale Glacier, and that is stunning, stunning views. We then move on to the highlight, Flom. Flom oh, is yes. the railway. So again, the Flom Railway is the most visited attraction anywhere in Norway. Uh, again, that's the sailing into Flom, that's where the ship stop. That's the size of Flom down in that bottom left-hand corner. That's what I'm saying, it's very, very small. Um, but again, you need to do the train here. And can I suggest that if you're gonna book this, you get the train booked. Don't rely on getting there on the day and booking your own seats because they only have 20% available for the general public. The rest of it is taken by the cruise ships. You've got 12 miles up into Flam, up into the mountains. It is beautiful. They're stopped there near one of the waterfalls. You can get off and take pictures. And they do a half day or a full day Flom tour. The full day one then picks you up on a bus and then takes you to the steepest road in Norway and some more beautiful waterfalls. And there is a, there is a stop as well if you want to do things yeah, that's like what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, stops. We do the waffles. It stops on the waterfall, yes. which is really, really good. You get waffles, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, I remember those. But you need to do the Flom railway, but please don't wait to get there. Pre-book that one, but that is a must. And then from down it then into Halsund. Halsund is a little bit now of alternative into Bergen. Again, another city area that you can wander off. This is maybe a place that you go and get your, your final sort of postcards and um, uh, Norwegian um, souvenirs that you have there. Um, you've also got the Langfoss waterfall, but you've got some great places to go and see there. All the way sailing through the fields of the islands there. The main two trips there, I would definitely recommend though, Brixdale Glacier and Flom Railway. And then Do you know, I'm just um, remembering how fresh the air was as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. If you want to go walking, go for a run, go yeah. for a hike, whatever you want to do. Um, really tempted to go back, actually. Anyway, this is what's included for just £575. Um, so if you book a select fare um, and choose from free spend, port parking, or UK coach transfers, um, plus book an outside above on select fare for an extra spend and a low deposit and... These offers do finish in about a week's time, the 1st of March. No tipping required as well. We'll show you the prices because um, one thing I will say, hand on heart, the fjords, it's all about the scenery. And I sometimes got up at even four in the morning just to look outside. We'll get in at four in the morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe actually. But I was going to say a balcony out. If you yeah. can stretch to it, I would definitely go Yeah, and just quickly, a couple of things. Though. 28th of May is great because the snow's melting. Waterfalls will be the strongest. Um, 30th of June, that time there, you'll probably be getting midnight sun yes. as well, which is really, really good. I would push to go for the balcony if you can, because the whole point of going to the fields is watching it as yourself from yeah. your balcony. It's like going to the cinema and sitting behind a big person. You might as well get a balcony so you can see the fields. Yeah. But so, depending on what your honestly, budget is. And it's, only, it's not that much more. If you look at some of the dates there, really worth upgrading to the balcony. But some of those um, Family 4 prices have already sold yeah, out. Very, very popular. Uh, those dates obviously are 2023. Glenn, we don't know what the future holds, but I... I've got a feeling prices could actually be really high. Every, everything's going up because it? everyone's starting to move and starting to go. So get that book tonight. Is it just a small deposit? Small deposit yep. tonight, yep. And then obviously balance due 16 weeks before travel. Uh, now, we have got one final hot pick for you. Just have a look at this. Well, this is more than hot pick. It's some big news with Celebrity Cruises, one of my absolute favourite. They're doing an incredible promotion right now, aren't they? Yeah, so they're doing at the moment, you can upgrade your view, free, free balcony upgrades on Celebrity Silhouette. And of course, drinks, Wi-Fi and tips are included. They've got a huge sale on at the moment. We're doing some amazing deals with Silhouette at the moment. Really, really popular. Exclusive discounts, you can save hundreds this week only, plus free balcony upgrades on selected European sailings. Silhouette's just had a $50 million refit. It's all been revitalised. It's looking wonderful. It was a great ship before. It's even better now. Oh. And they've got some lovely itineraries around from Southampton. So, again, just give Planet Cruise a call. They will find the perfect Celebrity Cruise for you. But let's recap of all the fantastic offers we've had this evening with Planet Cruise. So, we started with Royal Caribbean Anthem of the Seas. Look at that beautiful price of 499 
Lovely, that's got to be booked. Lead date on that one is 17th of June 2022. You've never been with Royal Caribbean before. What are you waiting for? What a great deal. I just don't know why that price is so low for such a keen date, 17th it's, of June. It's just you know? the price they've got at the moment. But again, remember, you can upgrade to that drinks package until the end of the month for £40 a day. It's about 275 for the week. Yes. That's roughly what it is. You've got a free outside to balcony upgrade on the 17th of June, 15th of July and the 4th of September. Book today with a reduced deposit and then you also can use your future cruise credit if obviously you've still got some left with Royal Caribbean. Uh, so, give us a call for that one right now. I think that was where it's selling really quickly yeah. as we know. Then uh, we went on to NCL on board the fantastic Epic. Uh, loads of dates in this one throughout the summer. It's the nine night Italy, France and Spain from Barcelona. That does include the two night uh, stay in Barcelona pre-cruise, all of your flights, your transfers and baggage of course. And for just £99 per person, you can upgrade to free at sea. That is amazing. And you're going to get an open bar. Yes, please. Specialty dining, Wi-Fi and a shore excursion credit. Amazing value on that Exactly. One. Then we went on to the Valiant Lady. This is again going out of Barcelona. This has got the one night pre-stay. The leading date on this one, um, again, was the 8th of October. We've got a number of different dates on there. You've got free up to $400 on board credit per stateroom and you pay £300, uh, $300 on your bar tab. They'll give you another $100. Why not try the new ship and see what Virgin's all about? Mm. I want to do all of this. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> last but by no means least, we took you on board at p &O with Britannia. I think this is amazing. Seven night Norwegian Fjords cruise from Southampton for just 575 And... Um, all I can say is, I believe everyone should book a cruise, and I really mean that. There is a cruise for everybody. You said there earlier, is there different is. ships, different places, different prices. Yeah. Give us a shout, and we uh, if they don't tick your boat, then we put you on something else. And for anyone that's never booked with Planet Cruise, what makes you so special? Would you say, Glenn? Not you personally. Not no, not you, not you. <laughs> the company. We, we we give you advice. We tell you where to go. A lot of us have worked on ships before, and as I said, we know what we're talking about. Yeah, you really do, and. Uh, Glad we'll see you in a month. We want to get you back every week. Yeah, you know that, don't yeah. You? As I said, we're trying at the moment. We're just getting back to it. But as yeah. I said, it's all starting to really kick off and get booking as quick as you can. Well, thank you so much. A massive thank you to everyone that's joined us tonight. And don't forget to give us a call and book your cruise. Glenn, did I tell you I'm going on a cruise next week, by the way? You mentioned it, yeah. yeah. What's that, number 36? I can't wait. Seriously. Yeah. I can't wait. It's been far too long. Um, <laughs> so... Thank you to Glenn and Planet Cruise. We will be back in a month's time. Please check the schedule for our next show. We'll see you Cheers, guys. very soon. Thank you, Glenn. If you'd like to be in the know with the latest and greatest cruise deals, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications every time we post a video.